We're going to follow the spinnaker instructions on the 707 website. Go to racing on the toolbar and down to crewing. There's a full breakdown of who does what for the crew. I'm Rachel and I'm going to be doing main sheet and guy. I'm Deb, I'm going to be doing the pet today. I'm Mary, I'm going to be helming. I'm Harry, I'm going to be doing the four deck. I'm Wendy, I'm going to be doing trimming. We'll talk through how to put the pole on and what to do with the spinnaker and halyard before watching the hoist in real time. So to put the pole up, first of all, the pit has to let off the pole down hull. And then the bow takes the pole out of the elastic, attaches the guy, attaches the guy. <laughs> into the end of the pole. That's it. And then the pit pulls on the pole up hole to set the pole horizontal. Clip it onto the mast and then you just shout made. made. And once you've shouted made the pit can pull on the pole down hole. Just to take the slack out of it. Not too much in case you have to bring the pole back once you've hoisted. So as you approach the windward mark, just the pit helps the head of the spinnaker and the clue out of the bag and the guy person pulls the clue round towards the pole and we call this sneaking the guy so that once you get to the mark you're ready to just hoist the spinnaker. If it's really windy we wouldn't pull as much of this out because the wind just might catch it and pull it all out the bag. But if you get some of it round, it makes it easier to hoist at the mark. So as you're approaching the mark, when you bear away around the mark, let the jib out, take it off the winch, and then just cleat it back in tight again. And that clears the winch for the spinnaker sheet, and also it means when the spinnaker goes up, it doesn't get tangled in the jib, which tends to happen if the jib's out loose. Okay, so the bow person pulls it up and cleats it on the mast, Made. And once they've got it on the mast, shout made so that then the trimmer at the back can start pulling the spinnaker in. And then the pit person pulls all the halyard through the clutch. Here. Once the pit's pulled the halyard all the way through at the clutch on the cabin reef, then the, the bow can take it out of the cleat and just put it behind the cleat. Because if you pull it out and leave it sitting like that, it has a tendency to cleat itself again. This is the sequence for real. As you approach the windward mark, the bow person gets the pole out and the pit person pulls the pole up hole on to take the weight of the pole. Shout made once the pole is clipped to the mast so the rest of the crew know it's ready. The person on the spinnaker sheet lets off the barber hauler on the sheet. The pit person pulls the corner of the spinnaker out of the bag, while the person on the guy pulls it in to bring the clue round to the forestay. Once you've borne away, take the jib off the winch and cleat it back in fairly tight to keep it out of the way of the spinnaker hoist. The pit person throws the spinnaker out of the bag as the bow person hoists the spinnaker and cleats it off at the mast. Shout made when it's fully up. Look up and check for tangles. Pull the guy back and cleat it in the correct position with the pole set at 90 degrees to the wind. Once the spinnaker is fully up and the guy is cleated, then the sheet can be pulled in and trimmed to get the spinnaker set in. The bow shouts for the jib to come down if the spinnaker is clear of the forestay and the pit releases the halyard to drop the jib. The pit then pulls the halyard through at the clutch on the cabin top and the bow uncleats the halyard from the mast. The pit coils the halyard away so that it will come back out again without tangling. So you just want to tidy up the halyard afterwards so it's going to come out easily. So you can, you can either 
throw the knot down below and throw all the halyard in after it. No, 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 but this is one tech. This is one technique. Yeah, yeah, it's a technique for coiling the halyard so it comes out easily. Right. So you get the knot in your hand, and then figure of eight it over the top of the winch. And then with the knot at the bottom and the end of the halyard that's going to come out first on the top, you just lay it on the Again, we'll talk through how to jibe the pole first. This is worth practicing on the pontoon before you go out. Then we'll watch a jibe in real time with all the crew rolls. This is a jibe from a beam reach on starboard tack to a beam reach on port tack. The main aim through the jibe is to keep the spinnaker flying. To do this, the trimmers need to rotate the spinnaker round the front of the boat as the helmsman turns the boat. The spinnaker will blow across the front of the boat one way or the other, and you want it to go round the front of the forestay rather than blowing between the forestay and the mast and covering your bowman with it. The sheet person and the pit bring the barber haulers to the level of the guardrails to control the spinnaker better during the jibe. The helm bears away onto a broad reach. The pit loosens off the pole downhaul so the bow can uncleat the pole off the mast and the guy can be pulled back while the sheet is eased out. The bow takes the pole off the mast, then pulls the trip line on the pole to open the jaws at the other end and let the pole off the old guy. Then clip it onto the new guy. The helm jibes the mainsail. The bow shouts made once the pole is clipped back onto the mast. The helm rounds up onto a new beam reach. The pit tightens the pole downhaul back on. The guy is set in the correct position for a beam reach and the barber hauler is pulled fully on. The sheet and guy crew spot positions and the barber hauler is let off on the new sheet. Hoist the jib and cleat it in reasonably tight. The helm calls the timing of the drop. First the guy is fully let go. Make sure it runs free and isn't catching on anything. A second later the halyard is released by the pit. The sheet person grabs the corner of the spinnaker and together with the pit pulls the spinnaker down into the cockpit bag. Here it is from another point of view. The bow takes the pole off the mast and the pit releases the uphaul and downhaul so the pole can be stowed on the boom. Tidy up by pulling the barber haulers in and stowing the sheet and guy in the cockpit pockets. In a race, you'd be rounding up at the leeward mark here onto a close hauled course, pulling in the mainsail and the jib. Mm -hmm.